from Jones. Round four. The Round Hotel four. Arena here in Little Rock. Here's the fourth round. Remember the blue and white of Emmanuel Augustus in fight number 67 and the 35th appearance for Russell Stoner Jones, who turned pro in Ghana, won a national title, but uh, has uh, made his home in Denver, Colorado. Needs a big win over a named American, really, Jones, if he's get to get his career up and moving. Augustus just superior, Jim. Yeah, but he's too cute, and he's shown all sorts of angles. He's never, he's never been at peace for a couple of seconds since the first bell. I would have expected him to change his tactics by now, because of the distance of the fight. But no, he seems happy. He, he seems to feel he can do that all night long. <laughs> a little bit of fun problem there. <laughs> is that his version of the alley shuffle? He is uh, a bit eccentric. Emmanuel Augustus can talk for Britain, but he's uh, <laughs> has to take a couple from Jones. Kidology there from Augustus. Seen it all before, been in with five world champions through his career. Was he hurt there at all or not? No, I don't think so, but uh, I mean, it's not, it's not a clever thing to do, especially in a close fight, because uh, some of the judges can be kidded into thinking it was a good shot, which uh, can turn things... Uh, against you but now just a bit of showboating there but he has been caught a bit more often by the counter so obviously he's slowing down slightly although it's not too evident the punch is still flowing just a little less from russell jones corner getting slightly impatient with their man and suddenly his work rate has totally dropped See, all he can do is wind up uh, single big punches, and that's what he's doing. He looks to be under pressure a few times, as though he's maybe in trouble, but he's not really. I think he's just trying to set himself for a couple of solid counters, hoping one will land and turn things there. He's just done it there. This is all he can do, really. He can't cope with his pace or the experience, so he's hoping to turn things with single shots. Yeah, pot shot with that left hook, but the volume and the variety coming from Emmanuel Augustus. But Jones is the one sucking the oxygen in there because he's the one under pressure. Augustus controlling the pace and he's quite happy with it. Yeah, these rib crunches from Augustus. 18 <laughs> knockouts on the slate. Just sort of grinds you down. Plenty of pressure. And Jones struggling to cope with that. And backs him up with a jab there. Just looks different class uh, most of the time. The odd counter, but that's all he's had to worry about. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of yep, four another rounds, impressive round from Augustus. All judges score this out 40 to 36 in favor of Augustus. Well, they are starting this experimental open scoring system where after the fourth and eighth rounds we get to know how the judges have it all three 40 36 to emmanuel augustus we believe that was only happening for the world title fight seems to be a theme of the evening are you in favor of it yeah well the, the, the arguments for arguments against but i don't understand why boxing should be the only sport on earth where they're both the contestants haven't a clue how things are going until it's over so for that reason alone, I think it's a good idea. I don't think they're taking it far enough. My, my plan is to make judges more accountable uh, because of the bad decisions we get. I would like to see a way of uh, every round uh, being shown on the scorecards, make them accountable. Difficult to do, but this is maybe a step in the right direction. Yeah, we don't know which judge is scoring which way, but all three here in this one to Emmanuel Augustus. And you agree with that? Yeah, well, if anyone scored it any other way, then they should uh, be looking for another job, I would think, because it's just all been Emmanuel Augustus all the way through, different class most of the time from Jones. A couple of pot shot uh, successes from Jones, but that's about it. Augustus with this burst of speed. Quick hands for someone in his 12th professional year. 
I mean, you could see even a, a genuine world-class fighter, if he went in with Augustus and not in the best of condition, you could see this guy could beat him because he's always fit, always in great shape. And look at the pace he's still setting even now. Smile on the face of Emmanuel Augustus. Learned the tricks of the trade, but he's showing tonight he can fight, and there's plenty left, Jim. Yep. No signs of a decay, that's for sure. I mean, this is an amazing pace. OK, he's having things pretty much his own way, and uh, Jones is boxing as though this, this fight's already been rehearsed when he's doing everything that Augustus wants him to do, a sitting duck at times, but just now and again, he tries one of those wild swings, which uh, now and again, getting through, there, there's one now. Jones was telling us he hasn't come all the way to lose this. This is a big opportunity for him too. And he's going to really try and grind it out, but at the moment, the fast fists of Emmanuel Augustus and the uh, just that extra bit of class having been in with so many good fighters maybe well that's it, it's experience and uh, he doesn't take uh, beatings I mean he knows even when he's losing he knows how to lose properly he knows how to take the sting out of punches so he still has pl plenty left in the tank coming to his right that's the only time when you're changing he does that shit right <laughs> Uh, I want you to keep stepping, you are changing, but keep stepping to your right. Too pleasant there from Augustus, but what about this standing between rounds? David Hay tried it against uh, Abdul in the summer, didn't he? Yeah, some fighters think they use more energy sitting down and standing back up again. Uh, if, a, if a corner has to work, maybe you have an injury or whatever, then obviously you want to sit down. But if you're happy with that, do whatever. I mean, that's, that sums this business up. Do whatever keeps you happy. Is the sixth of ten has been cut from twelve, but it's all Emmanuel Augustus. What can Russell Stoner Jones in the white and red and the red boots, formerly from Accra, hardened on the uh, Bookham streets, living in Colorado, and says Jim, despite having been there for eight years, he hates it. He'd rather go home. <laughs> well, that's a surprising, but. No place like home, maybe. But he doesn't seem to, to have an idea how to go about this job. I mean, he's standing off as though he's trying to counter, and he doesn't have the speed or the experience to do that. You think he would be trying to initiate some attacks. I know it's easy sitting here saying that, especially when there's a guy in front of you throwing punches at 100 miles an hour. But it's time Jones tried something. Has to come forward, has to try and get punches off, not, not wait to counter. Just stuck in the mud, Russell Stoner Jones cannot get flowing at all. He's 119, but he's going to have to dig very deep to make an impression on Augustus, who again plays with him. The showboating, and back he comes with the solid combinations. I mean, occasionally, Jim here, he looks like a fighter who could be possibly fighting for a world title one day. Yeah, well, I mean, we have to remember the, the, the class he's boxing in at the moment. Uh, he's facing a man who's lost 15 out of 34, so I mean, there's a huge leap from here to world class. I'm just wondering if there's a little bit of show business. As we said earlier, he has his own cameras falling around doing a documentary until he boxes for a world title or retires. So maybe the plan, show business boxing being what it is, maybe they're going to get him a couple of wins maybe slip him in as a defence somewhere, a voluntary defence. Wouldn't surprise me. Worst things have happened, I wouldn't begrudge him. There he's opening up now, just showing that bit of class that he has. A glance at the referee from Jones as Augustus begins to make more of a dent on his opponent. I mean, if after that, stringing a few wins together, and they matched them with one of the champions. You would never call it a, a total mismatch with Emmanuel Augustus because you know what he's capable of. He can give anybody a night's work. So if it happens, I wouldn't be too against it. See, he's sitting down in his punches a bit more now. I expected him to do this sooner. This is good. Yeah, plenty of headshots. End of the sixth round. Jones in a bit of bother. Needs to fight his way out. But nothing has really gone right 